Good morning world. First video of 2021. It's gonna take a while to get used to saying that. Story was desperate to get into the water, do some swimming. We're trying to work out if Maida's ever been to the sea before. Look at her. She's sniffing it like she's never touched it. Story, I think Maida's never been in the water before. No, she's scared. <laughs> she's scared, isn't she? Actually, she looks worried about you. Look, she's she's actually woofing, putting her ears up. Mummy's getting ready to join us. I've seen this, Sash. Maida looks scared of the sea. Yeah. She's probably <laughs> never been in before. I don't think she has. Look at her. Oh, sweet dog. It's okay. It's just water. You can go in if you want. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. The original plan was to go to the rock pools, but low tide is looking really high today. So we're just yeah. using this little bit on our local beach. The water's colder today, isn't it? Look <laughs> how she's freaking right out. It's okay, my dear. It's just water. Come and join us. Do you think she'll come? She's really considering it. Jump in, go for a swim. Come on, you'll be safe over here. You'll be safe. Come on, you'll love the water. Come on. Get on. So as we've mentioned quite a few times before, we check the tide on the Magic Seaweed app, but it is just not accurate today, not at all. I'm seeing huge waves coming in and it was supposed to be really low tide. We should have been able to get around today. I don't have a zoom lens today, but you can see the water just rushing in. Really unpredictable. Oh yeah, look at the waves coming in. You can really see them. She gonna... Should I get your bag? So she's gonna get your bag. All right, we're gonna attempt to put Mida in the sea. The first time swimming, we think. In you go. Oh. <laughs> Just like Eden the first time. Is it that instinct to move their legs? <coughs> look at that story, instant swimming lesson. Dad, look! And if I pick her out... <laughs> yeah. She's still going. Yeah, that's so sweet. Wow. Let's just see if she swims by herself. What? Ready? Here we go! Wow! Oh, look at it! Wow! <laughs> Good girl! Nice job! Well done Maida, that was fantastic! So this is my first time in a long time vlogging with an SLR camera, the new Sony A7S II. I want to take some pictures of Story. It is actually getting really difficult to get nice pictures of Story because she's at that age where she doesn't want to have pictures taken. But she's also at that really beautiful stage where I want to take lots of shots. Quite frustrating. <laughs> Sorry, what have you done? <laughs> Is that where the seaweed lives now? <laughs> We're trying to get Story in the mood for photos. This is a good photographer's <laughs> technique. Get your kid to do something fun. Play a game. Yeah, run towards you or throw things at you. <laughs> I need to check this one. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Sasha's going under with the Insta360. See if she can capture some fish. See what it looks like under there. Story's refusing to wear her mask today. Not interested in doing underwater swimming. There you go, Story. Join Mum with her swims. There you go. Can you put them on yourself? You know how? Oh, well done. All right, join Mum in the swim. See what she can see. I'm just taking a little walk out onto the reef to see how far you can get before it starts getting too deep. I reckon you could walk out quite far. I noticed there's another couple that's just come here trying to get around to the rock pools too far away to see on this lens but I can definitely see that it's a struggle to get around there. Luckily we've got this lovely little cove bit here which is perfect for Story to have a little swim in. I've never actually swum in this bit before. There's a dark one forming and then that teal splash at the end. It's like a painting. Story's just going to have a picture taken. Can you come over here? Yeah what do you want to do? There's a gap here and there's a... Uh, and there's a gap here and there's sea urchins. You yeah. want to go and see sea urchins? Yeah, I just spotted some already. Can Have you? Show you? Okay, on. show me. Yeah, come on. Get on the fish now. They're tiny, aren't they? I can't touch one. <laughs> it's because they're too fast, baby. 
Okay, we're going for a little brief walk. I have officially given up on my water shoes in favour of my regular slippers now because they've all gone ruined on the soles. As long as the massive wave doesn't come, I think they won't slip off my feet. One thing I've learned about these December, January months, you can't rely on apps to tell you about the tide. It's totally off from what we expected. All right, we are escaping and exiting the reef. Look how much dirt has accumulated on this beach since the waves have got strong. I said to Sash the other day we should order a wheelbarrow online. I've never seen anyone in the Philippines using a wheelbarrow, but it would be ideal for this kind of cleanup. You could just come down here, throw it all in and wheel it back up to the house and chuck it in the recycling. There's far too much here to pick up in boxes. It would take weeks, wouldn't it? Oh, so much. No, it's really built because up, of hasn't the it? The bad weather and the storms and the big waves, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know who strung this up to the tree, this big rusty metal cylinder. But the colour of that rust <laughs> is to see is actually quite unique. It's become quite a little bit of an iconic sight now for me. A bit like having a shipwreck or an old boat just like ruined on the sand. <laughs> What's a shame, Dad? What's a shame? Look at all this trash and look at all these glasses. Well, yeah, there's a lot of glass bottles, isn't there? Yeah, look at all this trash. Yeah, there's too much trash. We should do a clean up soon. It does go to show how important it is for everybody to pitch in and keep the area clean. This is a paradise, you know? And when everyone's doing their bit, this beach is just unbelievable. I think we should try and order a wheelbarrow online. <laughs> <laughs> you can't buy them in the shops, can you? I know, we don't have enough boxes to, yeah. to pick it up. I know, you could have someone fabricate one. You know the guys that make sidecars? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon they could probably make one for you. We'd need a little track today. Like, uh, yeah. you know how they do after the full moon party in Thailand? They go along the beach with a tractor yeah. and just like a thing on the back to collect up all the rubbish. Or you could just That's tug it you like you're at the gym, you know, put a rope on your back and tug it down yeah. the beach. <laughs> when we were taking our Q&A video the other day, we noticed how beautiful this tree looks and we wanted to recreate it in a photograph. Well, that didn't work out. Story was not having it. She didn't want to have her picture taken. Some of you may know we used to be wedding photographers a long time ago. And one thing I'm noticing is quite the challenge is only taking pictures with one lens. We've only got one Sony lens at the moment and it's fixed. I can't zoom. So when I go out to take pictures, I can only stay at one focal length and it makes you think differently about how you take your shots. Most professional photographers will know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they do it as a specific challenge, like a 50 mil challenge or a 35 mil challenge where you go out with only one lens. It's been a very long time since we've done anything like that. There you are, my dad. You ran away from us, didn't you? Did we scare you? Mm. Yeah, she's totally dry already. <laughs> come on. Come in our house. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mida can't play tiddlywinks. Oh, she does want scratchy wings though, look. Scratchy wings. Oh, scratchy wings. Dad. Yeah? Look, she, she wants to follow me to, to play tiddlywinks. <laughs> this one for you. She tries and eat a wink. Yeah. Or, or a squidger. Or a squidger. <laughs> you just say, wink. Yeah. Don't. We don't want her to do that, do we? <laughs> you can say that, yeah? Definitely. She's not to eat our winks or our squidges. <laughs> yeah, you can say that in case she does. <laughs> wondering what we're talking about tiddlywinks is this vintage game that Sasha bought for Christmas and we've been playing it at home pretty much every night story loves it all right doggies you enjoy your rest in the shade we're gonna go home I think this year more than ever people are going to be more and more focused on having a better year 2021 has to be better than 2020. Yeah. Hello Story. Are you gonna have a good 2021? Yeah. Do you remember what the date is? What's today? It's a new day. Yeah, <laughs> New Year's Day. Yeah, but if it's gonna be a new day, there's gonna be different shapes around here. Well, we are having a lovely meal together, aren't we? And we're gonna play tiddlywinks later. So the classic thing for people yeah. to do in a new year is look after their bodies and change the way they eat and do different things. But because we kind of do that most of the year anyway, I wanted to focus more on what we can do with our camera equipment, how we can improve the vlogs. And what I'd like to know, actually you can comment below about this. Do you notice a difference in the footage with using such a different camera? I mean, this is a very, very different setup for us. 
but can you see it as the regular viewer who's not maybe interested in photography can you see a difference can you hear a difference because i've seen vloggers do this before they upgrade their equipment over and over again they spend thousands and they say well what do you think and even to me sometimes it looks the same one of the highlighting features about this camera is it's supposed to be very good in low light so it should be good indoors but especially outdoors mm. Um, in proper like proper nighttime light. Like, yeah, so, like starlight. We haven't, we haven't tried yet. Yeah, well, it's been very cloudy recently, hasn't yeah. it? So I'm looking forward to there being a lovely starry sky one night, and I'll go down to the beach, and then we can film a nighttime vlog. What do you think of that? There's no nighttime vlog. It's not nighttime yet. Yeah, no, I'm not right now. I'm talking <laughs> about in the future. Would it be fun to go down to the beach and film a nighttime vlog with the stars? Uh, but but not but normally. Uh, in the morning, when we are still resting, yeah. when I woke up really early yeah. with Mum, yeah. uh, we saw the moon. Did you still see the moon? We, we, saw, we, we saw the moon, but, yeah. but, but in the first day it was covered by a cloud. Okay. And, and then the second day it came up again. Oh wow, so yeah. you saw it on the second day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, then, and, and while I sat in bed, yeah. I... I wanted to go out in the dark yeah. and sit out there to watch the sun, how it, how it rises back to life. Okay, you want to watch the sun rise from night until day. That is um, a fantastic idea. It was actually only about a 10 minute, it wasn't a whole day. So there was a cloud over the moon when I first saw it. I went to get a story, the cloud was still there and then 10 minutes later the cloud had gone so I went and got her again to show her the moon. It was, was it big moon story, was it a full moon or was it a crescent moon? It was a full moon. Oh wow, yeah, full moon of the new year. Yeah, it was I, beautiful. I wonder if there's some symbology behind that, is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. This is exactly the same as our Christmas dinner, isn't it? It is. It's looking very good, smelling yeah. very good, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. We like doing this now, having these early dinners so we can all have dinner together. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this stage with Story where we can do this, we can eat together, yeah. it's fun. Yeah, do, do, do you want to have the same on your plate? Yes, please. Yeah, Let's find the story some crispy potatoes. The oh. best kind. You like the crispy ones, don't you? Oh, this chair's so heavy. <laughs> so for Sasha, this is actually the last supper, isn't it? It is. For three whole days. It is. Yep, after today, I'm going to... Not gonna... your birthday. No, it's not my birthday, no. <laughs> I am embarking on a three-day water fast because I want to start the day, the year off really freshly and getting rid of all the past years build up. <laughs> and I'm gonna start, this is the year that I really want to focus on myself and make a commitment to me and my body. So I'm gonna start off by doing a complete cleanse. I've done a 24 hour water fast before. The second time I done one, I done a 48 hour water fast and I managed both of them so I thought, Going forward, I'm going to try 72 hours, just playing it by ear, I'll gauge how I feel as I'm doing it, but that's what I'm planning right now. This is actually also the first meal of the day for me as well, so I've actually just done an 18 hour fast, intermittent fasting today, just to get my body used to kind of going without food a little bit. Coming out of the water fast, I then plan to do a day of having a smoothie, and then the day after it will be a light meal like a soup or something like that before I get back into eating real meals again. And then I'm also probably going to do a kitchery cleanse as well just because I really love that meal <laughs> and I felt really good after the last time I done that. The good thing about all of these methods that Sasha's talking about is that we have tried and tested them all individually and they all work in their own ways. So this idea was to condense everything we know and what we've learned about our bodies down together. Now we're not going to be doing this at the same time, I don't need to do this at the moment and I also want to be on full form because when one person is doing a water cleanse and a juice cleanse there are certain parts of the day where it saps your energy and one of us has to be on top form at all times and this is the method that we did before as well. So the reason why we're sharing this in the vlog is for accountability purposes. This is a video diary for us when you talk about it in the video like when i said i was going to grow my hair i then know i have to keep growing my hair because i'm accountable for something don't worry 
We've researched all of this for years. We know what we're doing. Don't concern yourself and, and send worrying messages to us. We know everything, okay? We know the risks. This isn't something that we're going into blindly. This is something we have done before and have had good results from it. And like I said earlier, we'll be, well, I will be listening to my body as I go along. And if I think I need to stop, then I will. I'm not just gonna power through and be silly about it. I know the risks of doing it and it is something that I've done before. So enjoy those final bites of <laughs> solid food. I will. <laughs> we just got a cake delivery from our neighbours. Check this out. Cake delivery. <laughs> it's similar to another dessert we've had here before, which was wrapped in the banana leaf, but this one's in cake form. And it has this on top, which I believe is latik, which is the residue left over from when you cook coconut milk. That's what it looks like in detail, if you can see that. Taking a little bit from the top there with some of the latik on there. The sweet coconutty. Actually, it's pretty good. It tastes like they've mixed the coconut with sugar or something. I'm not sure if it has been. Mr. Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. Always having a little book read. It's a bit early for book reading, isn't it? <laughs> this is intermission after lunch and before to do winks game. <laughs> Fancy a bit of cake? Yeah, I'll try, try it, it yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Yummy. Mm. It's quite nice, isn't it? It is nice. It's got a nice flavour. Yeah. It's subtle. Mm. Sasa just had an idea to warm it all up. So I'm going to put it in the oven for a little bit. I need to find a plate that can go in the oven or maybe I can put it on this. And then when it's nice and warm, we can add some cool coconut milk on the top of it. Story's watching the new Grinch on the TV. There's a little picture of Eden on our screensaver. <laughs> I've just opened the coconut milk up and I'm going to pour it onto this rice cake. Let's see what this turns out like. Okay, we'll let that go. Might need a bit more coconut milk actually. It's soaked in since I've come over here. <laughs> oh, how did you make it? Like a little circle? Oh, I put it into the uh, moulds that we have, you know, oh. the muffin casing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just right mm. That is so much nicer. <laughs> it's like a proper dessert now. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> what is this disaster happening here? <laughs> it's not a disaster. Yeah? Story asked, what did you want to have done, Story? A haircut. You wanted a haircut? Yeah, because, because my hair is too long. <laughs> <laughs> Story wanted to know what a haircut felt like. So I'm just giving her a tiny little trim. It makes sense to do it actually. I don't really want to say this in front of her, but I feel that if we didn't do this for her, she would probably do it herself. I'm also making Story a Christmas tea because this is what she wants right now while watching The Grinch. The Christmas tea is made and we've got the game of Tiddlywinks set up, haven't we, Story? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Are you enjoying the tea? I like your new cup, yeah. Yeah, that's my cup. How was the tea? Good. Exactly how you wanted it? Yeah. And that is it for today. We are going to enjoy our game of Tiddlywinks. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed the day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Actually, you won't see us tomorrow because we are now vlogging three days a week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.